All right, man. Benavidez revealed <clears throat> the what was the deal for Canelo? Uh, what was the deal for him to fight Canelo Alvarez? Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. So he was on the Boxing Voice, and he basically said that he took a reduced payment of $5 million to fight Canelo with no no back-end money. You know, everything went to Canelo. He said Canelo was getting close to $60 million plus pay-per-view. He was getting $5 million, and after paying out all his people, he was only getting $3.5 million. And with that $3.5 million, that was before taxes. So, you know, um, so he was he won the opportunity. What's so funny was I watched the Terry Crew interview on uh, Club Shay Shay. Um, and he was talking about, you know, he didn't get paid for training day. And it was a really good interview, by the way. He didn't get paid for training day. Um, you know, he only got 5000 for next Friday, Friday after next. But it was about the opportunity that opened more doors. So he wasn't going to, like, you know, kind of was talking about Terrence Howard, how he only, I think he said he got 12000 for hustle and flow. And he said, you can't nod yes and, and mean no. He said it was about the opportunity and for the doors, it opened for him. And uh, I definitely understand that. It's about the opportunity and all that stuff. So men to be there to understand, look here, I, I'm going to win. And when I win, I'm going to be the next guy. Up. I'm not going to win just like uh, like Dimitri Bivol did, you know, and then nobody really know who Bivol was anyway. People know who I am. Stephen A speaking on me. Um, people know who I am. Uh, and um, and I'm gonna capitalize off of it. I'm gonna I'm beat him in dramatic fashion. I'm gonna be that guy. And um, at the end, at the end of the day, you know, cool. I respect that. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. So, um, I think it's I think it's uh for him. You know, at the end of the day, he see the bigger picture. And now he also said he ain't crossing the street. And I speak on that as well, too. But, yeah, it's a, it's about the bigger picture. If you think you can, you think you really going to win, you know what I'm saying? You going to win. And he kind of spoke going after Goldsvig. He going after Goldsvig because Goldsvig's trains with Eddie Renasso. He said, I'm going to try to take out everything that's – um Everybody that trained with Canelo team, you know, I guess that's around the weight division. So he got a strategy, and this is this is part of the strategy or whatever. So um he go to the, the in this manuscript. So Ben said has said he's uh has said he was willing to accept a deal to fight Canelo Alvarez that would have seen him earn five million while Canelo got sixty, which equates to a ninety-two eight per split. Plus Canelo would have had pay-per-view percentages. I was completely fine with that. This guy was taking everything, and I'm not saying he shouldn't. I don't give a F. I want the opportunity, the opportunity. So he said he wanted the opportunity. And that's kind of similar to what Terry Crews was saying. You know, I get I get the I get the rest on the back end. You know what I'm saying? I get the rest of it on the back end. You feel me? That's what he was saying. I get the rest of that shit on the back end. I'm gonna get that in form fame and fortune because I believe I'm gonna win. And like I said before, Canelo said, well, you know, I never received an offer. No, he said, I never received a paper offer. They verbally spoke on it. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, no, he simply don't want to fight. That's fine. I don't think we should want, we should want to see somebody who don't want to fight another person. No, why would I want to see that? If you don't want to fight them, you don't want to fight them. I mean, that is what it is. But still, you know, people come out here and and try to def and try to def and try to defend them, and it's duckish ways. And this ain't black and Mexican. This ain't black and white. This is Mexican on Mexican crime right here. And that's the crazy thing about it. So can't nobody sit here and say, "Oh, you know, we always capping for no." This been to be that the Mexican monster. 
That's what this is. It's been to be that. And Canelo's a coward. I've been telling y'all that. Y'all be like, oh, ain't no way boxers can be scared. And there's no way that he, he's scared of another fighter. Man, fuck out of here. This this a different generation, bro. This is this is a different generation. For real, this is a different generation of fighter. And I think people need to recognize that, man. With more eyes and social media, you get beat up. And all you continue to see... Uh, and all you continue to see is what? You know, you be a mem, you get clowned. You know what I'm saying? You get clowned and all that shit. Come on. So don't nobody want to be a highlight reel to get clown forever. Real talk. Come on. Don't nobody want that. So it's all about the brand. And I understand, man, you know, Canelo came from an era in which, you know, Floyd Mayweather, the leader of the era, didn't want to uh he didn't want to uh pass the torch he did not want to pass the torch so i mean at the end of the day uh it is what it is and you got people saying well ben, uh, can, uh pbc didn't have the money they got the money i said that a long time ago they had the money for canelo somebody saying or oh, pbc didn't have 34 yes they did have the money the problem was they wasn't about to pay him 35 to fight Charlo and lose money. The money they lost, they needed him to fight Crawford and Benavidez to make up that money. That's what they said. We'll pay you the money to fight Mongia because we're going to make money. And we'll figure out the rest on them. But they wasn't about to lose money and then not make money after the fight. So if people had that question, oh, they didn't have the money. It was never they didn't have the money. They wasn't about to lose money on Charlo, and then he walked away to the zone, and they they got the, you know, I lost all my money. With Mungia, they know he was going to make the money. They know it's going to make money, so it cool with it. Now, does he get to the third fight of that deal? I don't know. Don't really care. No, I didn't watch boxing Saturday night. Didn't give a fuck. I slept in my bed. I'm probably going to sleep in today. <laughs> if it's nothing that intrigues me, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to watch it. That's just where I'm at with it. I used to watch any and every little boxer. But just let you know, Canelo don't have any interest in fighting this young man. And that's fine and dandy. Because you're going to have people come in here and say, well, Mayweather didn't do this and Mayweather didn't do that and Tank do this. Like, you think all black people support them sucker niggas? Absolutely not. I'm not one of them. They always say, oh, you always want to make it about race or you, you, know, you don't say that about Mayweather and Tank. Those are people who don't watch the channel. I love people who don't watch the channel and I love people that read the, the, the headlines and, and don't have the attention span to watch videos. If y'all niggas got ADHD, which that doesn't even fucking exist, you you just you just don't have the discipline to watch or comprehend or focus on something. That's what that is. You don't have the discipline. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the discipline, and that's fine and dandy. So you really don't even respond. You don't even respond to comments. Respond with people like that. People that can digest what you're saying and then come with an informed question, that's fine. Or you got some people that can hear what you're saying and comprehend it, digest it, and still want to be ignorant because it doesn't fit their narrative. And that's fine, too. And I'm just going to go out and block, block your dumb ass out of here. It's as simple as that. At the end of the day, the guy don't want to fight, and that's fine. It goes right around, around with the narrative of this of this era of boxing. It really does. A bunch of pussies. A bunch of Josie and the pussy cats. 
Well, man. So, you know, being to be there is his right to put this business in the street. And everybody, and oh, Canelo fight anybody. No, he's not that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's not Marvin Hagler. He's not that guy. <laughs> he's not Roberto Durant. Oh, he, I didn't even know he won't. If he would have fought anybody, he would have fought anybody by now. And all his top fights are closer than close, like Atlantic Star. Let's get closer, closer than most. All his fights is close as hell. Let's keep in the damn arena. <laughs> Honey, man, all his fights is close. So, like I continue to say, man, I, I knew this. I've been told y'all this. But y'all rather run with the lies and with the narrative that fit with your reality. And that's the problem with a lot of y'all niggas out here, man. Y'all don't see the world for what it is. Y'all be wanting to see the good. Y'all be wanting to see things the way you want to see it and don't want to see the writing on the wall. And then when you get blindsided, you know, when somebody blindsides you, you want to play the victim. When you see the writing on the wall... When you see the hints, you know what I'm saying? When God show you the hints or some God kind of nudge you in a direction, but you think this is meant for you, um, I, I, I would just say, man, part of maturing is, is just knowing, is knowing, seeing the signs or part of maturing is, is you know, you know, just being honest with yourself. You can't be honest with yourself. You ain't lie to yourself, man. You ain't going to get far in this game. So, hey, thumbs up the video. This game called Life, by the way. But thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go uh go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Good fella TV. Peace.